It's episode Russ. It's episode Russ. Yes. Oh! Yeah! It's. It's give me 30. What's up, Dallas? Yeah, I gotta let this shit ride a little bit. Mm. Y'all should know this voice by now. All right, Mario. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. got DK in the building. Yes, sir. As well. Yes, sir. What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? What's up, YouTube? What's up, all our subscribers, listeners, followers? Much love to y'all, man. This is Give Me 30. With the Dirty 30. Episode 027. The Russ episode. The Russ episode. We'll just go ahead and call it that. Fuck it. Old head episode. Whatever. Or you call it the DMKD episode. There we go. See, there we go. I like that. I like that better. Yeah. This is your host, Russ Maurice, aka the Black James Bonnie. You already know. I got my co-host in the building. You already know who it is. We'll play 13 in this hoe. You dig? And we got a special guest with us. Come on, man. You know the gist to give me 30. What's up, man? How you What's doing? Good, bro? It's Juan from DMKD Collective Clothing. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me, man. Of course. Thank you for coming. Yeah. For real, man. Thank you for coming to the show, man. Glad you're here, man. Glad you're here. So that song at the beginning was the boy, DK, Road to Destruction, man. If y'all haven't seen that video, it's on Black App Global, man. Go run that up for the boy, man. Go Ooh. follow him at SawedOff95. And um, like I said, Road to Destruction, DK. So, That's Juan, what man. What's the, what'd you think of the song? You that like shit, that? I like that shit, bro. I didn't even know that was you. Oh, yeah, was... man. It's, bl- it's, it's Black Ad for you, yeah. bro. It's Black Ad, man. That's what we're doing <laughs> over here, man. That's what we're getting yeah. into. I like it, though. It's dope. I appreciate that, bro. How you feeling, man? Feeling good, man. I think the butt light's kicking in a little bit. So okay. I'm feeling, you know, relaxed and everything, but shit, it's a vibe, man. Yes, it's sir. A lot of good energy, man. Like, you guys got really dope energy. And this makes it easy, you know, just come here, relax, and just talk about shit, you know? That's what's up, mm-hmm. man. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. I'm yeah. glad you're comfortable, man. Um, so, bro, I want to know where you from, bro. California. <laughs> where in California? So, uh, Santa Santa Clarita area. So it's like Northern California, like a little bit, not like San Francisco, mm-hmm. but it's like to give you guys a bit of a like a, I guess a guideline is like an hour away from Los Angeles. So okay, okay. yeah, but it's like the suburb area. So. I'm from California, bringing those vibes over here to Texas, you know, with the in and out and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We was talking about that before the show, and we'll yeah. we'll get we'll get into that later, cause yeah, yeah. man, like um, you're kind of outvoted on the show, bro. Yeah, with the, shit. With I'm the... probably getting a bunch of hate from this shit, but it's all good. Yeah, we, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna get into that, man. We gonna get it. Much love, Whataburger, In and Out. They both got good shit, Mainly man. Whataburger. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. No, nah, I, I said we was gonna be unbiased. But anyway. <laughs> Man, anyway, Mancho's violence today. Jeez. Yeah, I see, right? Give it a smoke. For real. So so what brought you over to Texas, bro? Uh, Just, you know, family stuff. Just, you know, came out here uh, for the first time by myself. Uh, and then just saw the opportunities out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, Dallas is the youngest, like, it's a young city. Mm-hmm. Just uh, learning. There's a lot of potential out here. And there's a lot of opportunities for a lot of people as long as, you know, you, you're in the right places or you're, you know, constantly putting your work out there. So... I just saw the potential in Dallas and I just said, you know, I could probably make something happen here where right. in California it probably may take me longer because, you know, out there is more established. You know, like the creative space, the circles is a pretty tight knit group. Mm-hmm. So you kind of need to like infiltrate and like you need to penetrate that and just work at it. Where here is like more open arms like, oh, you're new. Like, let me check your shit out. And it's just like it's it's a more organic. Yeah. And it's, it was just, you know, the energy was dope. So. You know, that and the cost of living, too. You know, fucking L.A. is fucking stupid crazy. Oh, yeah, I believe How it, How expensive bro. it is, so. I believe you know, it. Make I've been wanting to take a trip out there, but, you know, I ain't trying to pay that. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're trying to vacation, it probably won't be that expensive. But Yeah, I was about to say, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you going to take a vacation out I'm there? I'm going to go out there and I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> oh, man's got expensive taste. 
<laughs> so bro got to save his money, man, a little exactly. bit. Exactly. We're going to get there, yeah. though. We're going to get there, man. So, oh, man. So, man of the hour, bro. What we've been dying to get into. Yeah. DMKD, bro. So, like, what was your inspiration with that? Where where that come from? What inspired you yeah. to do it? Well, it just came from just my bloodline, I, I would say. Like, I'm a child of immigrants. My parents migrated here from Mexico okay. when I was younger, you know. And they made sure work without any type of resource. You know, they didn't speak English. They had no fucking money. Barely had a job. Like, you know, when you're in a, in a country you don't know, it's hard to make it happen, you know. And they did. Like, they made that shit happen. So, to me, early on in my life, it was instilled to me, like, well, I instilled in myself, like, I want to make something out of my life. Like, I can't let this go to waste because I know the sacrifices that they did. Because I recognize as growing up, you know, when you're little, like, some things are weird. But when you get older, like, oh, I know why that happened. I know why we were doing this. I know why we lived here and shit like that, you know? Right. So that was just early on. Like, I just need to do something, you know? And, you know, I decided to make clothes because, you know, I love, like, I love, I used to love going to the mall and just, like, window shop because I didn't have the money like that back then. Right, so right. I'd be like, I get oh, it. Like, I want that shit or I want this, you know? And then that's why I was being introduced into hip hop because I used to be into like rock and shit like that throughout uh, early high school. So, you know, I started watching hip hop. It's a whole new world. Like, everyone's got chains on, you know, you got fucking uh, Bape, fucking Louis V, all that shit, you know? Like, I don't want to fucking be like that, you know? Right. I like that. But I was picky. Like, I like, I have undiagnosed like OCD shit, like an ADHD type <laughs> shit. It's like, I can't <laughs> focus. I'm like, I like it, but I don't. And then I'm like, shit. And I don't have money, so I was like, I'm very picky to what I what I buy, you know? Right. So I was like, why don't I just fucking make this shit, you know? Like, uh, I was always into art. My mom pushed me. He's like, you know, if this is what you want to do, then do that shit. So been doing it since. And just what motivates me really is, you know, a lot of things. Uh, I always like creating an experience. Kind of like I told y'all, like, y'all come here. You guys got the whole, like, traditions and stuff. Like, I love shit like that. That's what's up. Like, I like knowing that someone was overjoyed mm -hmm. by something, you know? Like, it doesn't even have to be mine, but that's what I always try to recreate. Like, if I get something that I really like, it's just an experience. And I think that's what motivates me a lot is, like, how can I create another experience for somebody? How can I create joy, like, out of something so simple, you know? Right. And also my family, you know, my girl, my two kids, and the third one coming now, so, <laughs> in June. So that's Congrats, like... Congrats, man. Thank you. Excuse that's me. big. That's what's up. Oh, shit. Thank but yeah. You. It's, it's a, it's, you know, those are motivational, like key motivational components to what I do, you know, to why I do what I do. So, yeah. I like it, man. I love everything you're doing, bro. Um, so I just want to know real quick. And of course, for the people, bro, tell us like a few highlights of DMKD, like your influence here in Dallas, bro. Cause I'm gonna get into like how, you know, how I came across <laughs> yeah. the shit, but yeah, man, t t tell us, tell us, man. Shit. Honestly, bro. Like. I didn't fucking know the brand was out here rocking like that. Yeah. Like, dead ass, like, not till the last maybe four months. Okay. So, you know, I'm very, I'm very, like, laid back. So, to mm -hmm. me, like, I try not to go too crazy and shit like that. Like, I'm not at all the parties. At one point, I was, you know. I had, like, FOMO and shit. Like, like I always wanted to be like, I want to be here. I want to be here. I want to be here. But then, you know, my girl would talk to me, like, you know, you need to protect your energy. <laughs> protect people you have around right. you and shit like that if you really want to make this work so i started just reinventing myself uh and just from there like i just started moving like you know how people are like oh let me post this shit on instagram let me flex yeah yeah yeah. i was more of like you know i'm gonna just do my shit i'm gonna put it in work i don't care what people think like i'm not gonna limit my limit my limit myself damn i can't even talk you can <laughs> limit myself to just like one certain uh, demographic so i made it uh well we made it uh, a mission to just like anywhere we go like we're just gonna be like this is us like putting it out there there's a show someone's reaching out yo like we want to do a show like you're invited doesn't matter how big or small they were or they were like within our circle out of our circle like mm -hmm. fuck it let's go like they show love to have me on board so i'm gonna just give you my best and i think that's really what's helped us because you know now like i told you like that when you came to the grand opening like, oh yeah the, the soft opening was like crazy like i couldn't talk like i couldn't stop talking because i was just you know meeting a lot of people and they're like yo i seen your shit here i seen yeah. your shit. and to me it was the first time hearing that you know because 
all we go off of now is social like social media you right know? right and to me i don't really go on social media as much to engage with people mm -hmm. so like my shit in my opinion at least it doesn't engage as much so i would always go based off that which is also like a whole theme and thing of its own because then you're focusing on the right wrong things you know yeah so excuse me damn. no you <laughs> this beers you good yeah. man so in essence you know it's just putting in the work really mm -hmm. you know I always wanted it to work, but once I stopped caring as to how soon I get there or who has it, that's when shit started popping off of me. So I like it, man. I like it, man. I like the hustle, bro. And I love the way you're approaching everything. And yeah, hey, shout out Corner Store, man. It was nice, you know, pulling yeah. up on you and, and seeing, you know, kind of do your thing, have your own little section. In the corner. If y'all know about, do you know, uh, like you know much about corner store? Yeah, actually, uh, my boy Justin and his partner uh, Nate Nathaniel. Okay. They uh they partnered up to make that storefront. So Justin actually reached the the corner. He's like basically the the forefront of the store. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a he's a brand called uh by Justin Daniels by Jay Daniels. He right, wears right. hats. He makes hats like the Triple D hats. I've seen them. I've which seen are fucking them. dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so he reached out to me telling me because I the funny part is I met him two years ago at a fashion show I did for men's fashion, that Dallas men's fashion, something like that. Um, and he was like, bro, let's work. But when you're in this industry, like you hear a lot of that. Yo, let's work. Yo, let's work. So I was like, yeah, all right, cool. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll he's like, I'm a graphic designer. So I was like, all right, cool. I'll hit you up, you know, sometime. But I get distracted, you know, shit didn't pop off. And then he, he hits me up like late last year. He was like, yo, I have an idea. I want to start a storefront. I want to have a bodega type vibes. He's like, I want to have like coolers and shit. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I like it. Once he said coolers, I was like, all right, all right I'm going to stop you there, bro. Like, yeah. I've been wanting to do a collection where I wrap all my shit in meat trays and have like a specific package again for the experience. You know, like yeah, I want this to I be like, like that shit, bro. some dope shit. Like, oh, yo, yeah. So I was like, I want the cooler then. Like, yeah. I want to do it. And then, you know, we met up. Talked about stuff and like, dude's a genuine dude. Like he, like I could tell his energy is in the right place. Like he wants to see people win, and that store is only for Dallas creatives. So it's not like he doesn't have Gucci and none of that shit in it, right. you know. So which is dope, but like it creates a platform for other creatives. Of course. So just shout out to Justin. We're stocked in there now full time. So you know y'all can go there and shop at any time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So hey, man, if you in the city. Dallas, man, go see Corner Store, and you better be picking up some DMKD, man. <laughs> yes, what sir. Helps you come up some of your designs. Uh, shit, dude. Like, it's just random shit, you know? Like, I try not to force it, so whatever comes to mind. Like, I usually have an underlying idea of what I want it to be. So, for example, this collection for Spring Summer that's coming out uh, by the end of this, this, uh, this month in April. Mm -hmm. So... I, the designs were mainly inspired by my mind, my, my thought process, and just in general, like my family and everything. So most of my designs were inspired by anxiety, you know, panic attacks that I would get, you know, mm. fucking depressions, you know, like crazy shit like that. You know, you go through that, especially, you know, dealing with the pandemic, mm. have, being in the job that doesn't really value you for what you do, and then going through the struggles of like, should I quit? Should I do this full time? And just the anxieties that come with that, you know? Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people talk about taking that first step, be like, you know, just do it. And, you know, doing it, like the the point, like just the tipping point to where it gets to just doing it, it's the most anxiety filled, like crazy thoughts. Like it's very, it's very scary. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to highlight that in this collection. I and, like that. Yeah. I so, like that shit. So I, that's your question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, so, hey, yeah. Juan, I was going to ask you, man. So what's, like, the annoying things with being a designer and running this brand? Like, what's, some like what's like, your pet peeves? Myself. <laughs> oh, yourself? Yeah, like, because oh. I, I overthink things too much, you know? Okay. Like, like I told you, I, I like, because I go on Google and shit, like, I undiagnose. Like, I'm the type of person who's, like, if I am coughing, I probably think I have COVID. Like that's <laughs> that's who I am. We're like yeah. if you know I'm I'm sweating. Like damn, do I have a fever? Like I'm that type of person. I feel you. So to me, when I design shit, I'm like, yeah, is that is that really what I want? Mm -hmm. Like 
I, I'm in love with it today, and then tomorrow I touch it, and I'm like, damn, like, I, I don't know. So, like, the like, the collection that's in the corner store and that everyone's been copying, like, mm-hmm. thankfully, I appreciate every single one of you who's copped a shirt and, or a piece of merch. Um, I didn't like that. Like, I loved it when I made it, and then we shot the lookbook. I looked at it, and I was like, damn, like, is this my best work? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I was getting in my head, and that, to me, is the biggest pet peeve because then, like, I, I was like, you know what? Every single day I look at this thing. So I'm going to put it away. Then came back like two days later. I was like, yeah, I fucking love this shit. So as you know, I'm my biggest critic. And I think that kind of also helps me out with like making sure that the next piece or the next collection is better than the one before. So it always keeps me motivated on my toes. I like it, man. I like it. And I I wasn't expecting you to say that. I like I was wondering if it was like something on the outside. That mm. was annoying to you. So I just find that very, as someone that experiences a lot of anxiety myself mm. and with my work and what I do, I, I definitely can relate. But yeah, I just find that very interesting that, that yeah, that's what your pet peeve is. Yeah. Just your own <laughs> yeah. anxiety and self. But I like your approach, bro. And getting to know you now and just seeing, you know, what you've been doing on the internet for like, I don't even know how long, but I've been hearing about DMKD for yeah. a while. It's been close to seven years since i started the brand yeah wow bro i didn't know that that's crazy yeah started as a high side hustle you know got to some personal things and then i didn't actually touch it till 2017 wow and that's around the same time that you know i got with kimberly uh, my girlfriend slash partner and she's the one who like pushed me like yo like she pushed me always like you know you need to keep doing this is what you really want do it what do you need like, just tell me what I need. She'll provide, like, tools, guidance, whatever. Like, if we were short on cash, all right, we'll cut back on here, and then we'll buy this, whatever. So she would always inspire me, and she helped me become a better person. Uh, I love it. Uh, you know, mentally, and I think I'm in a better space now where, like, I can honestly say, like, I'm really happy. Like, And to me, that was hard for me to say for myself. Like, I can't say, like, I'm happy mm-hmm. because there's always, like, you know, but are you really? Like, no, like. I'm happy to the point where, like, as a man, I feel uncomfortable because I'm, there's there's times where I want to cry because I'm happy. Yeah. And I don't understand it because, you know, I grew up in a Mexican household. So, like, toxic masculinity is like, you're a man. Man up. You can't fucking show emotions. And you, then you with girls, you know, there's some girls that are like, you know, they they just want a man to be like a oh, man in essence. Like, why are you crying? Why are you doing this? You know? Mm-hmm. So that's what I grew up with. I'm oh, sorry. Were you going to say something? No, no. you. <laughs> Yeah, no, I get so, it, bro. Yeah. I get it, bro. You you doing it right, bro. And and I respect it. I respect it. And I'm happy for you, bro. I'm glad you're yeah. happy and you're in a good place. Shout out to your partner. Yeah, I know how important that is, yeah, man. She's a real one for that. Like yeah. for real, man. Having a as a man, having a good woman by your side by your side, especially as a creative, is very important. And I get that. Shout out yeah. my wife. I trust me, I Shout totally understand. Yeah. I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> yeah. But um yeah, man. So, look, speaking of design and you being a designer, bro, what do you think about Lil Nas's ex, uh, his fucking <laughs> Somehow the, I, the I devil knew, shoes, bro? I think it's basic. Like, I don't feel any type of way. It doesn't move me, I guess, in a sense. Like, it's not like I get why people are so outraged by it, but mm-hmm. it's just an Air Max with red ink and the fucking pentagram on it but like, it got satan on it and shit and the, a human yeah. blood in the soul i yeah. think the and shoe looks clean six, <laughs> but i would probably take the pentagram off if i went and got it i think i was a little too much like I'm not to me fucking wearing yeah. that shit yeah well i guess with me because i'm not religious so okay. it doesn't impact me i believe more in energy and things of that nature like mm-hmm. what you put out is what you get back uh, i think it was just it's smart campaign is it's unfortunately it's the campaigning that is now normal which is like that outrageous like kind of like you know is he faking it is he for real yeah. like cause, causing a lot of outrage where people was going to share and talk about it like we are now mm-hmm. and it's going to help him at the end which is smart but yeah. you know like that music video he yeah. put out yeah i didn't see that bullshit <laughs> i saw all that bullshit that they put on twitter like it's just crazy when you have a twitter like you can't ignore shit sometimes it just ends up on mm-hmm. your timeline because somebody else retweets that shit but yeah Fuck that video. Yeah. Well, I think it's too much hate in the world to even, like, provide more. So, to me, I'm, like, indifferent about it. Like, I don't care. To me, it was, it was a lazy design. Uh-huh. I'm just looking at a design aspect. Like, it wasn't nothing special. It wasn't yeah. the Virgil Abloh, like, fucking the 10 collection where it was, like, what the fuck? Like, the first time Nike's ever done some shit like that, you know? 
and then let him touch a, a Jordan, which not many people can do. Like when you're collaborating, like yeah. with Nike, Jordan is like almost untouchable. So the fact that they let that, you know, that's groundbreaking. To mm-hmm. me, that, this was like just, just eh, it was meh, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I feel you. Well, of course, y'all already know, unfortunately, a recent event. Y'all see my T-shirt, man. Yeah. I think, rest in peace. I, I think y'all see my T-shirt. But, hey, I, I got to just say rest in peace, DMX. Uh, sad, 50 years old. It wasn't that old. Um, if you knew him, you kind of knew what was going on. But I just wanted to say rest in peace, DMX, and your influence and legacy that you left on the world lives yeah. on. Definitely, man. That's I, I had to say that. I had to say that. And like I said, y'all see my T-shirt, man. I'm repping, man. <laughs> You already know what's up. X gonna yeah. give it to you is like triple diamond in my mind. Cause that was my shit as uh, a kid, fifth grade. I'll never forget it. But like what did did you were you a DMX fan at all? Did you I didn't follow him that that deeply, but I know mm-hmm. of his body of work. So he's he's dope, man. He's got good energy. Like he brings energy. That's the one right. thing. Like his shit is just like hype. Like uh, the way he sounds, he just yeah, makes me want to fight just like, somebody. Yeah, For like, real, I'm gonna man. <laughs> that ex going to give it to you. I was in fifth grade, but I was like, man, I feel like beating some ass, man. He's like, Russ going to give it to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, real. Where's that lunch money? <laughs> For real. Shit. Now, I went to uh, Bridalwood out in Flyer Mount at the time, so mm-hmm. I wasn't beating no ass, man. Like, nah. Psst, damn, Only two it. black kids in the class. I'm one of them. Mm-mm. <laughs> I've been nah. there before. I don't want that There's smoke. There's a joke in there somewhere. Yeah, I don't want that smoke. I'm good. <laughs> Bro wasn't being nasty. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, man. Hey, so look, speaking of music, bro. Yeah. Um, I know you uh you say you you know you've been in the culture lately and everything, like so being in Dallas, bro, who is like on your radar as far as music? Who's some of your favorite like artists from this area? Yeah, well, Yak the Mac has he dropped a EP, which I vibe with, like he went a whole different direction, which I I always like slower music, kind of mm-hmm. like Kid Cudi, like X Extension, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I shit fuck like about that. Them. I really like shit like that's where my brain goes to, like that's what I vibe with when I create. So he's one. He, I know he's been putting a lot of work, and he's always showing support and always showing love, inviting us to places. Uh, a new artist, which is my homie, um, his name is Neem. He goes by Neem the Great. He's actually yeah, I met him at yeah, the, yeah, at the yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, we gonna have him on the show, man. Shout definitely. out Neem. No, he's a good fucking dude. Like he's got a lot of fucking good energy. Uh, he's from New York too. I know, so. man, I know. That's why. <laughs> that's why I had to get. Yeah, we followed each other on IG at the mm-hmm. corner store shit, bro. Yeah. I, yeah. So he's from New York. He's uh, he's gonna put out a project this year. Like he's been working on shit. Like I listened to some of it. It's just fucking dope. Like bro has like low key like Saint John vibes. But like his own type of vibe, you know what I'm saying? Right. So like I'm excited for that for him. Um I can't think of anyone else on top of my head. I mean, we got Debbie Stones, Coach Tev, and all those, you know, we'll be rocking and stuff. So shout out Coach Tev, yeah. man. I just love their consistency. Like I love that people in that realm, like they put out stuff no matter what, like, you know, whether it rocks or not, or like if it's not where you wanna be, but they're consistent with their work, which is, you know, what we all do. We're creating, you know, we're trying to break ground we didn't ever know when the next one's gonna come we're like if this is gonna be the one you know what i'm saying so oh, yeah. a lot of dedication man for real so i got a question for you if you got to do a collab with any other clothing line which one would it be <laughs> shit It'd probably be fear of god mm. yeah i think so be or bad. nike if you want to count oh, sneakers hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> want, bro that's a big that's yeah. a dub what kind sure. of nike would you want to design shit i'd probably go with uh, the forces are done way too much. I probably do like a like a high top force, oh, like a yeah. It's dope. not the low top, so I like high top shoes. But like I would redesign everything. So really, mm-hmm. really like I would want to go like the way Jerry Lorenzo went, which is create your own silhouette. Mm. So that's probably. But it would be a high top. So to answer your question. Sp- speaking of Nike, the Jordan Five Raging Bulls dropped today. Did you cop those? I know I missed I out. I forgot Bro, about took it. L's. I missed out. I fucking one of those, man. Yeah, I like, forgot about it. So size fourteen drive. is a struggle. <sighs> Fuck. If I was your you size drive. fourteen? Yes, sir. Oh, damn, bro. Struggle. Yeah, I struggle, bet. man. Shit, how you walk? Like that shit. Like, how I walk? does it weight? <laughs> like, do you feel the weight <laughs> when you take a step? You I know walk. I walk just like you, bro. 
Hold I'm on, just, just saying because like you, you know you got you got the extra fabric on it. Nah, you know, man, those, just a, it, it's a it, 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 it's just big step is four L. Like that's it. Oh, shit. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. That's it, man. Nah, like, Walk like everybody else. I never get lucky. Like six eight, so you know. Six eight. Oh, sh- you're six eight. <laughs> no, that's <all>. Well. <laughs> It's I funny because when I pulled up to the corner store, bro, he was like, "Yeah, I didn't expect you to be fucking um, tall." I yeah. was like, "Yeah, bro, I'm I'm bro that just brought the shirt for me the other day. I I don't know if you remember me, but yeah, yo, yo, uh, oh yeah, but uh, I I didn't think he was gonna be that tall, bro. Like, I, <laughs> Some reason I was thinking like, like yeah, you know, man. like maybe yeah, everybody five shocked, eight, bro. Right I'm six three, y'all. I'm not. I, if I was six, <laughs> six eight, eight, I'd be a fucking Houston Rocket or some shit like that, man, or a Laker no, you maybe. Wouldn't. <laughs> I could hoop, man. I could beat you." Y'all need to take that. I'm not side. good. You should, y'all should have like play a, and I basketball. beat you already too. I've already whooped his ass in a one on one. I don't play. So that's I don't that's play done. basketball. You want to play football? Then then that's I good. we could do See, that. I shit hate too. that shit. It was like yo, I don't. I could beat you in this yeah, sport because I don't play. That's like <laughs> y'all whoop his ass in Madden too, yeah. man. List goes on. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Well, <laughs> why why don't y'all like make an episode like y'all do a one on one? We need to, bro. And then where the world can witness this Madden ass paintball. whipping. One on one paintball. Oh shit, yeah, paintball. We be getting lit with the paintball. Bro. I gotta send you an invite for that shit. Yeah, man. no, I've been. I actually been telling my girl like I want to do paintball. And, like that's just fucking fun as hell. Oh, yeah, we we went a couple times. Yeah, we, we do that every year. You say you like traditions and shit, so it's yeah. a tradi- uh, excuse me tradition from my birthday to oh, go shit. paintballing okay. every year. I've been doing that shit since 2017. That's mm-hmm. dope, bro. So even when I'm 40 something years old, we gonna <laughs> go paintballing. I don't. My my bucket list is to go out the country and do that shit with the whole. I don't even care if I have to pay for the trip for everybody. I'm yeah, gonna be like, that's dope. we going to Europe to this course out and blah blah blah. Yeah, you just yeah. want everyone to enjoy that's that. Shit. Hell yeah, bro! Ass. Just make it whatever. <laughs> this is every team deep. I'm on every year is taking a dub. We still yeah. undefeated. No bro, one is. You're bro dirty macking right now. He's yeah, like, I know. I'm yeah, pretty he, sure I've been on. He can talk all the shit. You've been on some of the winning squads. Yeah. Yes, you have. <laughs> but we haven't taken no L. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's I was that's, on. I was honestly yeah. on his team both times. That's I went. D Wade right there. Until, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I believe yeah. it. He, he, like he a, got rings. He looks like a sniper. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. We be we be getting into it. <laughs> I be getting mad because I be running out of bullets throughout the middle of the game. I know. See, and I gotta why, hand them shit. See, but why are you running out of bullets? I mean, you're missing that much. Because yeah. no, nah, because <laughs> Thank I'm, you, exactly, I'm over there, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I was over there trying to distract like four. Last time we played, I was trying to distract like four people. So let other people try to get them, but nobody was getting them. I ended uh, up getting so them, you, though. So, so you're the scapegoat. Cool. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. You know, I was trying it's to help good, the bro. team win. I got you, know? you. I got you, man. But, hey, man, my bad. I wasn't trying to get too <laughs> deep no, into straight, that. No, you're straight, man. That's dope. Before we uh, wrap up the show, I want to know, like, so anybody watching this, we do this a lot on the show, too. But what's your advice to, like, the upcomings that might be watching this, that might be designers yeah. or someone that does graphic design or might want to, you know, do the cut and sew like you do? What's your, what you got for them? Just be consistent. Don't give up. And just, you know, do it for yourself, you know? Uh, you know, The one thing that I, one thing that got into my head a lot was, you know, when you see other people doing it, but you're not there yet. Mm-hmm. And everyone, everyone moves differently. You don't know the opportunities the person next to you might have or may not have. So just focus on what you have. Hone in on yourself, on your energy. And even though something doesn't sell or doesn't go the way you want it to go, mm-hmm. doesn't mean that's the end of it. That just means that it wasn't your time yet. So just don't give up. You don't have to do it full time. I know, like, I'm lucky enough to be able to do it full time now, but not everyone has that. Right. So. You know, it's it's easier said than done to be like, like I told you, there's anxieties and everything that go into it. But just don't be too hard on yourself. Like, take your time. You know, don't take shortcuts. Don't think you need to appease to somebody. Just do what you love. And as long as you're passionate, people are going to love it. So, yeah. I like it, man. I like it. That's some good shit right there. For real, for real. Um, So, hey, man, you got some shout outs? Yeah, definitely, man. Shout go out ahead, to. Do your thing. We're actually going to be uh doing a fashion <coughs> show uh for my boy, Kendu. It's called Born Into Chaos on April 23rd. It's going to okay. be on Lofty Spaces from 6.30 to 9. Okay. So we're going to be showcasing our spring-summer collection uh, for 2021 in that show. And I just want to shout out all those models. Like, they showed up to casting calls. You know, yeah. you know, they drove from, like, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour just, you know, to be there. Right. And then they're just so grateful, you know. Like, that's what I love. Like, that humbles me a lot because people that you don't even know are like, yeah, no, don't worry. I'll drive to you. I'll make this work. Like, what do you want? Is this okay? Like, 
people who are willing to put themselves or put others above them just to help you out is like a fucking amazing experience and an amazing energy. So I want to shout them all out. Shout out my photographer, Freddie. Um, Congo. Yes, sir. That's my dude. Yes, sir. Shout uh, out both them. Shout out Neem. So that's my dude too. Uh, shout out the corner store, Justin, Jonas, uh, Nate, everybody in there, man. Just shout out anyone pursuing their dreams and just not giving up and just doing the shit that they love. And that's it, man. I love it. Good vibes and positivity. Yeah. I love it, man. Y'all love your energy too, bro. Like Thank for you. real. <laughs> I, I I wish the absolute best for you and DMKD, bro. I'm I'm ready to see you do bigger and better things, bro. I, and I know Thank it's coming, you. man. Yeah. You, you have the attitude. Because vest, the vest went in. I fucks with them. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. There's more. <laughs> There's more coming. <laughs> so I've been I've been locked in, man. Spring, summer is like the next step to the next. Like, I want to get into high fashion in a sense. So I love it. Excuse me. In my eyes, it's, it's, an, it's, it's incorporating a lot of storytelling in it and also incorporating pieces that I normally wouldn't do. So I'm excited to show you guys all. That, so y'all be on the look for that man y'all be on the look me. hey you got some shout outs trey shout out to the av <laughs> yeah shout out to the yeah, av man. always yeah that's really it. i don't really care to shout nobody else out right now damn okay <laughs> that's how it is today all right i see it well hey man it's been great man thank you again for coming on the show yeah i want to say thank you also because i want to say you're the First person that's had me on that didn't mess up the name. So wow, <laughs> and, and I know it's a mouthful. Like you forget the last D. Some people say DMK or DK. No, nah. so no, nah. so appreciate it. <laughs> I remember this shit, man. This shit go hard, bro. We we locked in, bro. We locked in. Oh yeah, yeah bro. I'm big. I'm big support, man. Shout out to my boy Juan and shout out DMKD. Ooh, you already yeah. know. Go buy some shit. <laughs> hey, shout out to all my fam. Shout out wifey, the kids. Shout out all the listeners, subscribers, the watchers. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell your mom, your friends, their friends, their the side friends. Piece. Your granny, the side piece, your granny's granny, your grannies. Oh, everybody. Everybody Shit. pray and tell God. <laughs> no, I'm just nah, yeah, we don't play. We don't play with the Lord yeah. up in this. Nah, man, we little, don't do that. Boy, probably cop some not, little Nas X shoes. That's probably he's feeling spicy. I right know now. you heard. Hey. You heard him earlier. <laughs> they kind of. Fr- nah, I don't want to hear that. I, I just, just like black and red. Hear. Other than like, that's I like I black said, and I would, red too. But I, I would take that. off the pentagram because that's that's just doing the most. Okay, so. man. We. Oh, I'm gonna let you do Wait, that. Do you have. Oh, I thought you had a cross on here. I was like, yo. No, I know, man. and he over here, man. <laughs> Just a walking contradiction, man. <laughs> Anyways, man. Shout out Black Ave Records. I love everybody on the squad. Shout out DK. Doing your motherfucking thing right now, brother. Uh, shout out Shot by Asia. If you it, Look, if you watch our videos and you don't know who that is, wake up. Please. Yeah, because she is going crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Shout out Shot by Asia. Shout out my boy MB Trey. Oh, shout out. Give me 30. I love my show, With man. I love my 30. team. Yeah, and uh, I haven't shouted him out in a while, but y'all got to know, man. Shout out Mario. He's been sticking with us this whole time. Still doing the sound. Still got a sound and crispy, man. Shout out Mario. Um, Go ahead and uh, play that D- DK shit. That road to shout destruction. We're going to close too. out. Oh, yeah. Shout out Rocket. Free Rocket, man. I love you, brother. Shout out. Free Ham. Rocket. Free, free Fo. Free Fo. Bam. Free Bambino. Yeah. Free the game. Wow. This is... Give me 30! It's gonna take a lot more yeah. than just the priest to try to defeat my exorcism. Not trying yes, to be sir. another nigga locked up in prison. Be a slave to the system. Behind bars remains the rhythm. But fuck it, they want me to bring the motherfucking records. No discussion. I'm walking on the path to destruction. So I smoke into the influence. Lift my motherfucking brain. Let the music fill my soul. Roll. <laughs> I can't help but notice your pain, it runs deep, share it with me I'm tapping in my negative mind and kidney slinging DPC I'm super saiyan, every day a nigga struggle but I'm grateful But why the fuck you stress it? I'm really trying to keep receiving blessings But I'm seeking, I be thinking, Lord it's really hard living Trying to shake the wicked evil, escaping my fucking demons But I wonder just how I'm gonna make it, living these last days I'm bringing the thunder with all of my niggas, man we hella blaze I'm chiefing on haze and riding on my own way I'm trying to keep seeing moments of getting paid Temptations stay on my mind, might have to Go back to rapping if I don't make it as a young